kicks in for me because I really do not have a good way to stop this. Now, what he's doing, I was able to cancel my hatchery, which is nice, save myself a desperately needed 300 minerals, is I'm actually going to push the attack right now, and I'm going to run these guys into the base. The reason for that is I'm throwing down a Hydra Den. Now, this thing has like a 35-second build time. This is fantastic. And what I did is I didn't build any other units while I was doing that, and I have a lot of freed-up supply because a decent number of my troops have been killed. Not necessarily a good thing, but what I'm going to be able to do with this is whip out 13 units worth of Hydras. So, being able to pull back, I was able to kill most of his ze Zealots. They're all chilling back here, probably to prevent a Zergling rush. And then, these Roaches sniping another one, producing more and more Stalkers. Stalkers do not fare well against... Hydralisks at all. These guys just rip them apart. And I'm trying to build Zerglings just to act as a little bit of a meat shield, and I'm going to get ready to throw my drones, my queens, everything into this push to stop them. And right here, pulling back, waiting for everyone to get in there. This is going to be a fun little party for everyone. And just like that, I'm able to get him to push back and turn this attack around because these Hydras are just so good at dealing with Stalkers and with Void Rays. It's not even funny. It's a good idea that he pulled back with that attack. So checking this out, income 28 to 28. He's just getting his expansion up and saturated. My second was not harmed at all. Now, if you check this out, I'm only mining off of two gas, but because I've been producing, you know, Zerglanes, Roaches, and now even Hydras. These are all low gas units. I just have an abundance of gas, but I need minerals now, which is why I'm going to go and try to get that expansion right back up where it is. And I'm hoping right now especially that I can see the expansion. I'll be able to get a better idea of what he's going to do, is that he's going to try to macro up, because he didn't attack with that large of a force, and he's doing a fairly good job of keeping his money low. He's throwing down a robo facility, and there goes the robotic space. So he's going to transition into a pretty standard Zealot, Stalker, Sentry, Colossi build. And, you know, for what he's forced me to tech to, the Hydras having roaches and lings on the field, Roach Hydra is not well suited to deal with this at all, so it's really going to depend on whether or not I can put this down before he gets a large number of Colossus out, or if I can tech to something else to deal with it. He caught my Changeling, and unfortunately my Brave Overseer is going to bite the dust and just spew all the way down into those ravines. You silly Void Rays. Five kills, and the rest of you guys have nothing. Noobs. And he's starting to soar ahead of me as far as Harvesters are concerned, but now that this base, if I can get this one up and running, again, that's going to be key. We check out the army tab right now on the supply block, block, but our food count is very even. The amount of resources that we've spent are even. Right now, not having Colossa out in the field, I could maybe push out and do a lot of serious damage against him, but there goes that. He's got Thermal Lance up and running. Chrono Boost, he's sitting on a lot of energy, but I can't really say that aside from Chrono Boosting this, maybe a Forge doing some upgrades would be good, but just really doesn't have any money. He's doing a good job at stopping, you know, keeping that spent, keep that down. Now, what I did with a lot of my workers is, again, migrating my workers, trying to put them at the most efficient place they can be. So right now, I know I need to resaturate. If you take a look, I've got the rally point for all of these places set over here because I've got a healthy number of workers. I could use about another five more on this expansion. For anyone watching this video, I would not recommend learning the best macro skills from me. It's something I'm still trying to get good at, but for the way this game is playing out, I think I'm doing about what I can between building drones and building military units, and the reason why I'm suffering so much on my drone is an initial attack hurt me to the point where I need to be building military units, sometimes at the expense of my income. Now he's pushing out right here with one class I two class I just, you know, a lot of them are going to be done very, very soon. Chrono boosting that, and I need to pull these drones away. I did not make the same mistake. There we go, you see. I learned my lesson from the first time. What I'm going to try to do is get the Zerglings, get everyone in there, and just turn this into one massive party. Void Rays just focusing down everything. Second class side, reinforcing from the back. The Roaches up front doing a good job at taking all of that. And what the Hydras need to do is they need to start focusing down these Void Rays. Now that that class is down, these Roaches are far safer. Again, just thermal lancing everyone. I'm trying to move forward, and then if I can focus down this Colossi, that'll be a beautiful pickup, because these guys are just so damn expensive, and they take forever to build. So there we go, Roaches with their 4-range, proving invaluable. I'm not going to press the attack, just because I may be able to get in there and do some damage, but the same token, he could come out on top. I need to be able to reinforce. Now, what I'm doing right here, and I didn't show you guys this, threw down Infestation Pit. It's not even something I really intend to do or use, but I'm taking this from Lair to Hive level. And the idea is, if he's going to commit to this build right here, which it appears that he is, 
in this class are just so expensive. I love the fact that they cost a lot of money to build. He's going to be trying to take down his gold because he knows that he needs to match my gold with an expansion, getting up here with more workers, and trying to... You know, I'm keeping relatively even with him on the Harvester count, which is good. I guess that's something that he could have done way better on. A few more, you know, better income on his part, better management of his probes definitely would have won him this game. But what I will be doing is I'll be teching up to Ultralisks, and I also have an Evolution Chamber going down. And it would have been nice if I would have been doing ground level upgrades beforehand, but again, this is just one of the games where it's incredibly difficult to maintain all the things at once. I'm a diamond level player by, by no means playing greatness. Now right now he's pushing out, he's got a healthy number of Colossus in there, but again, he just does not have the fodder in the front to really help support that, because they're going to be able to be pushed back, and how many of these Colossus I'm going to be able to pick up moves to the high ground, beautiful play right there, and again, just not having the proper meat shields in front of these squads, I can actually go down very quickly. And no upgrades on his part, you know, there's definitely mistakes. Neither of us playing pro level right now, you know, neither MLG as far as this goes, but, you know, as long as I can keep this expansion up and running, I have a fairly well established position in the game. Our harvester count is close enough where it's not going to be a huge discrepancy. You now 5 is a little bit of a difference in that part, but the fact that I'm mining off the gold, he's just now getting his gold up and running. And if I would have known that he only had that, I definitely would have pushed out. I'm starting to move my army right up here, but I'm in a very defensive mode as far as this game is concerned. I will be breaking down my rocks very soon to get into that. I'm getting two ultras out. I have their chitinous plating on the way, and I'll be throwing down a level one attack just because it benefits them so good, especially when it comes to these armored units. If I can get Colossi up here to attack not class if I can get ultras up here to attack the Colossus. It's going to be GG for those guys. They're really not going to stand a chance in my creep. It's continuing to spread this wherever I go, and would have been nice if I could have been on this a little bit quicker, but definitely benefits the army as far as that end of it goes. Let's go back to the income tab, and I promised you guys I'd break down these rocks, but I'm really not quite sure when I'm going to be getting on that, and I better be doing something soon, otherwise if this nexus goes up here and we see a mass probe migration over the gold, that's going to be a really bad situation for me. If we take a look at the food count, 82 to his part, and 131 to mine, so I'm actually quite a bit ahead as far as the food goes, and I've got a healthy number of roaches, only a few hikers out on the field, just because I'm not really anticipating too many more of those void rays, I think it was kind of a one-time play. These hydras, I believe, are all left over from the previous battles, and the roaches, just because they do a better job at tanking out against the thermal lances that these guys have to dish up. And roach going on over here, and when I got down here and didn't see an expansion, I was exceptionally happy, but right now, I do not know that he's expanded over at his gold at all. I'm setting my creep the other direction, and I'm actually going to catch this with my roach right up here. If we go back to the income tab, he's going to be soaring ahead of me very quickly if I let this get up and running. I'm throwing down mine on this expansion. And I'm going to move out right here with my ultras, and ooh, 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 they want to eat everything. And look at these guys just destroying, absolutely murdering these Colossus. And, you know, the Stalkers just really, I mean, the Colossi, not really that effective against the Ultralisks. They've got too much armor, and they're too big, have too much HP, and just a few ultras in there turned what would have been a massive victory in his part with the Colossus into an overwhelming, you know, steamroll of his army from my troops. Jay Primer leaves the game. I would have loved to have seen a GG there because this was a very well played game. It was incredibly action packed, white knuckled the entire time as far as that goes. And I was really surprised when I was able to pull through at the end. As you can see, I was roach spamming hardcore just to try to reinforce whatever my attack was going to be. And look at this ultra, seven kills and he barely took any damage at all. I mean, that's cool and they can get up there and they can just rip stuff apart. So, reason I brought this game up to YouTube, I always have to justify why I'm doing this, is there's good play on his part especially. Throwing down the proxy pylon over here and abusing this tall grass to go in here and hurt my expansion is brilliant. It would have been nice to see a little bit more of an aggressive play on his part, but I really felt that he thought he was in control for the most part of the game, but allowing me to get the high yield up here is what, you know, even though I had fewer harvesters than him and was behind on him for a better part of the game, allowed me to just pull ahead and gave me the minerals to get out what I need to get, and the tech to ultralisk is really one of the key things that a person needs to do when it comes to these games. If you take a look at this, 35 damage to armor, you have stalkers that only have 160 health, and they technically qualify as armored units. So once the zealots go down, 
because these guys are terrible at killing zealots. It's just insane how bad ultras are at killing zealots. But if there isn't good zealot coverage, these ultras can do four, you know, or five unit radius worth of splash damage, and they will rip through, especially if there's roaches behind them. Now that they have the four range, they synergize very good. The ultras up here attacking, the roaches back here hitting them, just rip them apart. A few Zerglings, and these Hydras are just here to look cool more than anything else, because everyone knows that Hydralisks are awesome. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. This is Malachi Cowtipper, signing out.